Welcome to Soul Talk, a podcast founded and created by Monica Ramirez, the warrior of love. Soul Talk was created in 2020 when a pandemic hit and we were in lockdown. She wanted to have exciting conversations with open-minded people so they could understand different aspects of herself and she could help others in the same way. She interviews healers, coaches, therapists, psychics, readers, channelers, mediums, intellectuals, poets, artists, and more. She calls it Soul Talk because it started as a conversation from soul to soul. Hello, everyone. This is Monica Ramirez, the Warrior of Love. And thank you for being in this circle of transformation by Warrior of Love. Warrior of Love, it is my spiritual name that my guides gave me. And is you're asking, because I have heard that one for many people, what it means, why you're carrying that. Well, my guides gave me this name. Like many of the Native Americans, they have different names, Great Eagle, um, Berna Mountain, whatever it is. Mine, it is Warrior, Warrior of Love, because I request it. I request to be, to have a spiritual name, and my guides gave me this name. So that's why I, I wrong with that. Okay. And why is so important to be unique? You. Well, the majority of the human beings, there is a lot of chaos in competition and in envies because we're trying to be someone else that we're not. And the, the, what is important for us, it is try to not copy anyone. Because in the moment you're copying someone, you're not being um, truthful to yourself. And that's why it is important that this, all this personal work that is about being you. In the moment you're not popping anyone, you're becoming empowered. You're becoming free because you can be whatever you, 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 you can do whatever you want without having the need to be someone else. You don't have to compete to be better or worse and, uh, because you're not competing with anyone. And it's going to give you the freedom to express and to be completely you. So we're honoring ourselves in that moment. And we're not trying to copy anyone. We're just being us. And that comes with a lot of magic. And a lot of things happen when you're in, in that state to be in completely you and f- with that freedom. So it was important for me to talk about it. Because I have seen it and my guys tell me today you're going to be talking about this. And that's why I'm just giving you the message from my, from my higher self, my ear. <clears throat> so get in a comfortable position and if you get cold, get a blankie or a sweater. I get cold when I'm meditating. And, uh, and believe me, I do meditate with you guys because the one who gets in charge, it is my higher self, my ear. So if you are interested in knowing a little bit more about Maya, I just did a podcast when she got interviewed. And it was my 100th episode in my podcast, Soul Talk. And uh, I will be sharing the link uh, very soon so that you can get uh, that, that information of Maya because she was uh, asked some questions and she, had, and she gave her own answers. It's like I go into sleep in my own body. And that's why I get cold because I go and meditate with you all. So, okay, please, if you're driving, stop your car and just park somewhere. And because this is going to be a meditation and activation right now. And let's start. Let's close our eyes. And let's take a big breath. Take it to your stomach and hold it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let it out. Let's take another big breath and take it to your stomach. Hold it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And let it out. Let's take another big breath and take it to your stomach. 
hold it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let it out. And now we're gonna take it to our chest. Hold it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let it out. Again, we're gonna take another breath and we're gonna take it to our heart. Hold it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let it out. And now we're gonna take it to our lungs. Hold it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let it out. And the next breath, you're gonna take it to your head. Hold it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let it out. And the next breath, we're gonna take it to our head. Hold it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let it out. And the next breath, we imagine we take it to our pineal gland. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let it out. Now with your eyes closed, we send our awareness to our feet. And in our feet, we imagine we are become a roots of a tree. And they start going down, 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 down to the center of the earth. <coughs> and in there, in the center of the earth, you're gonna find a place to anchor those roots, feel how they become one with Gaia. And in there, we're gonna let go any shame, any blame, any guilt, anything that is bothering you in the here and now. And now, the energy of the center of the earth with all her love and acceptance for us, start going up, up to those roots, up, up, up to our feet, up, up to our ankles, up, up to our legs, relax them in more and more and more. They go up to our hips, passing through our stomach and all our internal organs and the external organs like our flesh. Relax them in more and more. It goes up to our shoulders and our arms and hands. And we just relax them in more and more. Now to our neck, the front and back, and you just feel how you relax your body more and more. Now goes to the back of our head and you feel how it melts in the here and now. The top of our head and we feel how it melts in the here and now. Now our forehead with our two eyebrows and how they melt right now in our face. And now to our eyes, behind our eyes, and we'll feel how relaxed them and more and more. Our nose, inside our nose, 
and our mouth, inside of our mouth, and all our body gets relaxed and more and more. Now from our crown chakra, there's the top of our head. We see a column of energy start going up, up, up to the sky. Up, up, it goes to the sun. And in the sun opens a portal that directs us to the central sun of the universe. Where the brilliant, brilliant light that has ever existed. We start connecting in there. And now we're going to breathe that in that light into that tube of energy and let it go in to our body from our crown chakra and it connects to the center of the earth and together it comes up 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 and they anchor in our heart and we can feel how they mix the two energies of Gaia and the central sun in our heart And it opens a portal and it takes us to our favorite place that has water, a river, a calm river in front of us. And the water is running and it is calm. You have the perfect weather like you like it. We're safe and protected in this place of your choice. And we sit down and watch the river. And now, we're just seeing it pass. And if something comes out to our mind, that it comes from our past, And when we were trying to copy someone else or to compare us to someone else, we're going to pull it out of our body, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, and put it in that water and let it flow. <laughs> and now, you're going to imagine, you're going to think in something that it bothered you from your past. A betrayal. A heartbroken. And we're going to pull it out of our body. And we're going to put it in the water and we're going to let it float. We're going to look into our body and see we find more of that pain, that emotional pain you have in your stomach, on your chest, on your lungs, on your head, or your nails. We're going to pull it, pull it out. And we're going to let it float. We're releasing in the here and now. Any past memories that hurt us in the past. Any comparisons that we have done to others that where we feel less. We're going to remove that. And let it float in the water. And the water would take them down to the river. And you feel that you don't worth it. Because it comes from your past, probably when you were a child, 
or teenager or an adult. We're going to pull it out of our body and we're going to put it in the river and we're going to let it float. That water is kind of magical. It transforms it into love. And now you're going to feel your body again. And we're going to look for any distortion that we have. And it comes from our past. Things that we have accepted that they were not true. Things that make us feel inferior that they are not true. And we pull them out of our body and we put it in the water in the river and we let them flow. Anything that we have believed in other people that have told you that it brings a distortion in our being, that it is not true. We put it in the water and we let it flow. If in our stomach, we're feeling uncomfortable. We pull that feeling, that uncomfortable part, and we put it in the water, and we let it flow. We give thanks to that water for transforming all these limitations. And now, from the central sun, it comes a ray of light, like a tube. And it just rain on us. In all your bodies, in all the timelines. In all the dimensions. That acceptation, that love, that unconditional love that do not ask you for anything, it just lets you be exactly as you are. And it reminds you that you're a being of light with a mission in this present moment. That you're here, it is because you have a mission. You came here to be whoever you wanna be. That you don't have to be someone else. Because you just have to be you to complete your mission. Take a big breath and let it out. I'm going to anchor this energies with a light language. E- Yara kaira makaira kakarayaka, ara kakara mayara kaka, ara mayara, ora makara yakara kaka, ora mayara yara kakara maka, oye a mayera makariraka, oye. Ora mayara yara ka mayara kara ka mayara kaka. Ora mara mara kara maya kara mara ka. Ora makara ya kara mamara kora maka. Take a big breath. 
Ora makara maka. Ora makara maka. Ora makara makara kaka. And now we give thanks to all the beings of light for being here in this meditation and activation. And we take another big breath. We let it go. Now we're going to come in into our body, into our heart. Feel that heart pulsing, it's clearing and cleaning any energy that doesn't help us anymore in our path. Feel how your heart is pulsing, how the blood is irrigating it. And make it pulse in a perfect harmony. And now we're going to go more into our legs and our hands. And whenever you're ready, just stretch, stretch yourself to bring back yourself to the here and now. Into the here and now. Into the here and now. And you can open your eyes whenever you're ready. So, I hope you like, guys, this meditation. And we're doing it weekly. And I just wanted to, uh, to announce some things before we leave. And uh, my book is out. It's this called Transformation in, in, uh, Transformation in, Metaf- in the Metamorphosis. Oh, gosh. It came like a real Metamorph- uh, Transformation in Metamorphosis. And right now it's pre- in pre-sale. So you can buy not only one book, you can buy two books. For uh, one is for twenty dollars and two for twenty five, and it's in pre sale. As soon as stuff ends, of course, it's gonna go to Amazon to a regular price, that it is twenty. Now, uh, also, I wanted to announce that I'm ha- gonna be having a program starting the, uh, February twenty eighth that is called Activate Your Multidimensional Energy, and in that one I do a certification as a channeler, and also as a and as a healer with multidimensional energy, uh, with multidimensional energy. So you want to uh, learn how to clear, how to clean your chakras in a theta level that is very different than that it is uh, in in Reiki. That even if I am a Reiki master, I do not use it anymore. I like that. I do it in theta level. You want to learn how to clear your emotions. You want to learn how to clear uh, entities. You want to learn how to clear your family lineage. You want to learn how to uh, learn how to deep love in yourself. And also not only you, but also you can use it for your own business as, a diff- as a, another tool that you can use for your own clients. You can be doing this because I'm going to be teaching you how to actually read a person, how to actually clear all this, all this with uh, these techniques so to your clients. And to go a deeper level in our healing. So if you're interested, I will be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much.